your wife is. No, I'm not. Leave me alone. For well over a decade, Ruth has heard menacing voices, hissing, screaming and undermining her. Ruth, really well done there. This is Tom again. I just want to check in. But creating an avatar to give the voices a face has helped her control her psychotic illness. But you've been listening to me for years. What's changed? I see you for what you are. You're nothing. You're just a voice. Under the guidance of a therapist, she learns to push back, and new research no, shows I'm it helps to silence the voices. I've been able to build up strength and resilience. I have been able to challenge these voices. It was at times pretty brutal. The stuff that the avatar would say was really difficult and really challenging to deal with. But over time, I learned that I could overpower that voice. There's a gallery of um, different forms of faces. Avatar therapy starts by building an animated image to fit the voices the person hears, human or demon, big or small, threatening or not. The research shows just a few therapy sessions with the avatar was enough to reduce the distress and frequency of the voices. Voices are something that the person might have been avoiding for many years um, and they're coming face to face with it so um, people can be understandably anxious um, about facing the avatar for the first time um, and the job of the therapist there is to make sure that it feels safe enough for them to, to interact with the avatar in a powerful way. The effects of avatar therapy are so impressive that it's been backed by NICE, which regulates treatments on the NHS. It'll now be rolled out to clinics for further testing. People want uh, to feel that they can recover. This therapy helps people uh, not to put their lives on hold uh, and to, to stay away from all situations, but to uh, change the way they relate to those voices so they can get on with their lives. You shouldn't leave the house. I'll leave the house if I want to leave the house. Ruth was once so badly affected she was in hospital for more than five years. Now she's married, learning to drive and starting a new job. A turnaround helped by an avatar. Thomas Moore, Sky News.